Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back. So today I actually have about 30 minutes and I'm actually getting ready to go somewhere and this is why I'm all dolled up. <laughs> so I have about 30 minutes. So I figured since I'm not planting anything, I can come in the garden even though I have light colors on and chance it and cut back my limelight hydrangeas. I have two limelight hydrangeas and a little lime. So I'm trying to get those cut back today. I'm not going to do the end of summer hydrangeas. Those are the macro for the hydrangeas. So if I have time, maybe I will. But I want to look at them first because I haven't looked at them yet to see if they have any new buds on them. And yes, it is still cold. It's 61 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. Help, send help. But they need to get cut back. Last year I cut them back. And if you look, I cut them really low. That's not one third. You're supposed to cut them back one third of the way. So that was really low. So if you look, here go my cuts from last year. That's <laughs> very low. We want to cut them a bit higher. Like, look at this one. This is a new shoot. Here you go the original cut down there. Let me make sure you can see it. All the way in there, right here. And then it came all the way up. This is a brand new growth. So the limelight hydrangeas, they bloom on new wood. So this is a new stem here. So I'm, and it's a very sturdy stem. I, I'm, I'm liking the sturdiness of this. Like it had this bloom on here. It rained, it didn't flop over or anything. So I like this stem. It's a very sturdy stem. So we want to keep this stem. So one third of the way, if you look, if you look here, make sure you can see the bumps on it. Here go one, two, three, four. So you got some nice bumps. I think I'm gonna cut it back to this one right here. So this one is very sturdy. And I also cleaned my clippers or cutting tool with alcohol. So you want to make sure you clean it properly in between um in between plant cuttings. I'm just gonna take it down to here actually. That's gonna be pretty high. Hmm, maybe here. <laughs> No, see, that's not one third, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm gonna cut it back here. Yeah, this will be fine. So, this is the amount I cut off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna sit this in the ground. What happened last year when I did this, I got one, two, three new hydrangeas because I pretty much cut them and I stuck it in the ground. And I got that from Tracy with Tracy's Garden. She's um in Canada. I forgot what zone she's in. But I saw her do that. And that was so cool. So this one right here. And I need to try relocate them. See? One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. These are actually have roots already. And they have buds on them too. They got new buds coming up. So they took. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing to this. I'm going to cut the head off. And then I'm just gonna take the stick and stick it in the ground. So I'm gonna stick them all in, in um, later. So let's first finish cutting, doing all the cuts. So I'm going to keep, since I did this cut, I'm gonna keep everything about this height and follow this cut with that one, make them all even to that one. And anything small, like small spin to see how skinny this one is. And I heard that anything that's small in the pen, so you can go ahead and get rid of it. But like this one, this is not going to be able to support those big blooms. It's going to flop over. Like this one is pretty sturdy. This one is like, meh, meh. So I'm going to cut this one back. Actually, it has buds on it. So I'm going to cut it back down to here. Because see, right here is a lot, lot more. Right here is a lot more weak and <laughs> bendable. So right here is more sturdy. So I'm going to take it down to there, the sturdier stem. And I'm going to sit this in the ground as well. Just put it back. You know what? I'm going to put rooting hormone on this. I'm going to collect them. And then put rooting hormone on them and stick them in the ground. Actually, I'm going to stick them in a pot. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I can monitor them. So this. And then we're going to go across to here. And do the same thing for all of them. I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining ones. 
even the one that just came up the one that i transplant not transplant the one that i propagated <laughs> that's the word propagated i'm gonna cut those back as well Now there's this one branch that has three, one, two, three. It is pretty much on the ground. So I'm going to take it back all the way back down and see if I can get one that's gonna grow up. okay so that's how it's looking so these three right here i don't believe they had any um blooms on i'm not sure i know these two right here did but now i'm trying to think i don't know if they did so i kind of want to dig it up and see if they have roots or not let me get my troll i got it i got it let's see oh i think i feel roots you know what i'm gonna leave it okay I can look at it and tell which one I have. So these one have roots and I, and I just felt some roots. I'm going <laughs> to, once I see them start leafing out a bit, I'm going to put them in a container. I don't have time today. But this one, I can tell didn't have any roots. See? Dead stick. Oop. <laughs> and if you look at the, um, let me hold it against here. See, there's no buds on them or anything. So that one I know is dead. And the rest of them there's no tug to them you can't just tug them out they're all rooted in all right so that's all trimmed up we're gonna leave it and we're gonna head to the other limelight over here he's got some good bumps on this one like all these tiny ones right here like these small ones all these are getting cut back and like I said, look how far back I took the cuts. Look at that. They're, those are all the way down to practically the ground. And then these, all of these are new growth that came up. So yeah, we're going to cut them a little bit higher because <laughs> that's not one third of the plant. I'm surprised they gave me blooms last year considering the massacre I did. And next to the limelight hydrangea, we have the little line. That's the one that I want to move. We have one boom le that I left on there. I want to move it from here and put it over there in the middle next to that yellow flower. So we have both the bench being back, back lit, <laughs> but being flanked by the limelight hydrangea. And hopefully it kind of goes together in the middle. So we'll see how it does this season. All right, we're running out of time. Let's hurry up. Just in case I don't get to show you the endless summer hydrangea, here it is. There was a lot of swollen buds in there and I think because it got cold, a lot of them 
fell off. Like, look at this. These were all buds. They're not green anymore. Yeah. So I think I lost my buds for my first bloom because we get buds now and then later on in the season I get more buds hence the name endless summer because <laughs> it blooms all summer long but there were some buds on it and they look like they're frozen off I will take a look at it again later on in the season in fact since it's in such a dire state I'm not going to um, cut it back here go another one here this one see these were the swollen buds I was talking about see bud bud so these have the buds on there still. And see, even have some new ones coming up. We've got a new one right here, new one right here, new ones right there. And these are probably dead, but I'll wait until this summer to come in and um, and, and cut them back. This way I can see what's blooming and which one is dead, and I'll cut the dead sticks out. I need to come in and finish composting here. But look at the leaves. I just put the compost down. Look at all the leaves. So I'm just going to wait till next month because these leaves are driving me crazy. All right, so I got it all cleared up. Look at it. Before, after. That's a big difference, guys. And I know some of these, you probably would have taken them back, but what I'm gonna do, I'm going to have, um, I'm gonna propagate them since they're low, probably put a rock on it to let it go in the ground, and then I'll cut it off. So that's another propagating method. Um, Kelly Lehman does that a lot, and I got that tip from her. So let's move on to the little lime. Right, so that's the little lime I did leave a few more skinnier stems on it um, than I normally would and that's because um, like I said last year it did get burned so I'm, I'm not trying to <laughs> cut it too much I'm trying to baby the few stems I have left because I had I lost a lot of limbs last year so hopefully this when I transplant it, it does well so we'll see So after I say I'm not going to handle any soil today because I have <laughs> none gardening clothes on, here I am trying to pot the hydrangea sticks up. So since the little lime um, don't tolerate the sun too well, I'm just going to stick them in front of the other little lime. So this is rooting hormone. Let me show you what it is. He... Rooting powder. <laughs> I think I used that last year. So let me just stick all the ends in there. Yeah, as long as they don't fall. Whoa! And I'm just gonna stick them in the ground. So I'm just gonna stick it over here next to it. All right, so I'm gonna stick them in here. The rooting hormone. Make sure you can see. And my big head not in the way. No, 
I'll cut this piece off later. <laughs> I'm running out of time, y'all. All right, so that's the little lime. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the lime night hydrangea. I'm gonna put it in the pot instead because these are gonna be bigger and it needs more sun, so I wanna keep it separate from the other one. And I'm not gonna have time to cut these sticks back. Pre poking the holes in my carbuncle fall off powder. With all these ticks, I should get at least two or three or ten. Should get quite a few. All right, so that's the limelight pot. Let me trim them up a bit. And this one, I'm going to discard it. I'm not going to put it back in the container since I was dipping stems in it, in fact. Sprinkle it on over here. <laughs> uh, not sure if you're supposed to do that, but no, it's not wasted. And I just give them a little snip on the top. I see some of them have green tops already. That's fine, so I'll leave, the, leave those. So let's see if we get new hydrangea guys all right everyone thank you so much for watching and follow me along to see if those new hydrangeas that i propagated take root and get more hydrangeas that'll be awesome like i said last year i did get a few so i'm hoping it works again this year i will keep you updated and i'll post week not weekly but i'll try and post often so you can see the progress of them and i'll be sure to include them in the garden tours and stuff like that um when i do them but how exciting guys so i got the hydrangeas pruned and the little lime prune. i did not do the um in the summer hydrangeas those bloom on both new and old wood they look the freeze did it wasn't a freeze it was just really cold they look like some of the buds got frozen off um on some of them so I'm gonna leave it and keep an eye on it and I'll probably cut it back when it gets warmer once they start leaving out, I'll, leafing out I'll cut it back all right thank you so much everyone for watching bye see you next video